by way of an introduction, welcome everyone to the M1 Killer Challenge. I've settled on this as our build. Starstruck, Agitation, and Iron Grasp. The combo there, exposed survivors when we are just M1 only. They're our bread and butter, and they could turn a game around. So I think that's very important, and paint as much of the map with Starstruck as possible. And save the best for last is brilliant as well as Trapper. If someone does wander into a trap, and I'll talk about our add-ons later, we can choose to hit them or pick them up. Either way, I think we can we can still manage our stacks there pretty well. Add-ons, what I'm choosing to do is run the Eerie Stone, so we'll still get some amount of value from our traps. They won't be positioned, they'll be randomly allocated across the map, but they will be set um, as, as the game goes on. They'll set themselves, so we might get something from them. And just by virtue of them being random, they might be a bit inexplicable for these survivors, so maybe they'll stumble into one or two. You simply don't know. What I'm choosing to do as well, as far as I'm concerned, Coffee Grounds will synergize with Eerie Stone. Gain a 5% haste status effect for 5 seconds after setting a bear trap. If you get every 30 seconds a new trap setting, you should be getting a 5% haste status effect every single time that does ambiently. And if we are in a chase, that should, they do synergize, this is amazing. So that should help us. And, you know, unpredictable haste will be a nightmare for the survivors too. So, I'm excited to give this a go. Okay, game on. M1 only. Now, here's a good question. When will I screw up? When will I screw up and accidentally use an ability? It will happen once. It's a matter of when, not if. In a way, this is quite freeing. Because, uh, you know, when you play Trapper, usually you are... Just thinking, oh god, I need to, I need to go and, and set up traps. I need to think about how much time to devote to traps, how much time to devote to chases. With this, you're just, you're just, you're just going for um, you're just going for the chases, and you don't need to sweat it too much. All right, here we go. Here's your first chase. I force them to burn a pallet here. Yeah, we do. Okay, I'll take that. Get a kick, and then keep on that chase. to the left. We've got that gem regressing. Look at this. We are getting haste as well from these traps being ambiently set. Um, it's not, you know, the hugest bonus to move in speed you're likely to see, but it's something. Do I like this chase or do I go to the right? I think I like this chase enough. There's probably the gen on the far right hand side there that is moving swiftly. But I'm not going to sweat it all that much. Oh, we can kick gens. I will say this: we can kick gens. I should have, I should have mentioned that. I, I am able to kick gens. Okay. Do you know what? Three pallets burnt in your opening chase. That's enough for me. Thank you. I couldn't possibly, with any more pallet kicks, I'm full. Right. So they get, they might commit here, and if they do, we are in business. Well, we'll get an injury at least, which is more than we've had so far. Um, I'm intrigued. That's an amazing trap on the left there. Does that get you? Does that get you? Oh! <laughs> uh, you're not the obsession, so we can hit. Oh, my God! <laughs> That's unbelievable. The randomly assigned trap is in an incredible location. Yeah, so we're going to pick... That's not a bad one in there, either. Look at this. Uh, we're going to kick gens, because if you're saying that, then it means we can't pick up survivors either, and plainly that isn't the case. So, there you go. There's your honour. There's my defence. I want to tell it to your face. I rest my case. Sorry, I've got all rise in my head now. Get that kicked. Do we keep on you? You're just waiting there, aren't you? Yeah, you're waiting there. So we take this on. You go window. We get you here? Good move, good move. Ah, oh, that's a hell of a death hard. I thought I'd wait long enough. What a shame. Do you get window again? You do as well. I think we keep on you, especially because you made a move like that. So this should be all over. Lunge it. Nice. Okay. Do you know what? To have even got a couple of hooks here, I am happy with how this is going. Did we clarify Slate is allowed to hook survivors? Do you know what? I, I'm now realising I should have done more clarification. That is a tongue-in-cheek comment, obviously. Uh, yes, I am. I am allowed to hook survivors. What I should be doing as well, and I've just realised this, I should be moving around more. 
painting more of the map with Starstruck. You might be Starstruck. Are you going to walk into that trap? Oh my god, this is unbelievable. This is utterly unbelievable. I did not anticipate any traps to work for us here. The fact that we've got two already, so stunning to me. So stunning. And the advantage there is twofold because now we get another little hit of coffee grounds. So we get another little bit of haste when I thought that would be a sort of one and done thing as well. Sideshow Bob stepping on Rake's vibes. <laughs> you just hear from in the building. Right, and uh, this might be the best thing, uh, the best chance for a three gen over here. So let's uh, all try and get this gen kicked. You committing? You're around here? You're not. Get that kicked. Best way to play trap and not set any traps? Well, apparently so. We can snuff totems as well. I'm making up a few rules as I go here. That's not a bad trap either, that. If we've got someone to run around there, it's very obvious, I suppose. It's not the best of traps. It was the best of traps. It was the blast of traps. You still regressing you are? There was someone here, wasn't there? It was. It was. Hello. <laughs> Look at save best for last as well. We've managed those stacks pretty effectively. You're going to run around. There goes that gen. That's a gen we're not overly concerned with. You've got really greedy there. Remember dead hard. They're going to dead hard before they burn the pallets. They... Oh, never mind. Fair play to them. I thought they were dead hard. Hang on. They go back. They double back here. Definitely going to keep on that chase. Feeling really good about this. Noise over there. Oh, what? A little bit of a moonwalk. Not going to get anything done there. And you... Remember dead hard. Remember dead hard. Nice. Okay. We did well. I'm sure there's going to be someone here for the pallet stun. Damn. What a shame. I am never, ever going to wait out a pallet stun like that. Maybe I should do. But I just feel like if you're going to get stunned anyway, don't waste time. Are you idle? Don't waste time looking for them. Just take the pick up. And if they, you know, if they... Be the obsession on you. Oh, but you're exposed. That exposed hit, valuable, because it means we don't lose as many save us for last stacks. And Idol Survivor are also huge for us in this instance. Okay. Tall guy, little car character, very slay. Hey, it's the kid who laughs at everybody. Let's all laugh at him. Ha ha. Okay. That was a gen that was really tricky to uh, keep in our, in our favor. So, you know, not going to sweat that being lost too, too much. There you are, okay. Ace trying to take aggro there. Won't be able to. So we get the dark stick. Beautiful. Interesting game, this. Very interesting. We're not entirely out of it. If Frank Grimes is grimy, is Slate Slimy? Slate Slimy is one of my uh, rejected usernames that I was going to go for. That's a joke. That's a joke. It wasn't. It was a lie. It was a, it was a fabrication. It was made up by a group of writers. Hello! You're the obsession. No, you're not. Okay, beautiful. So we can keep on getting our stacks. They head over here, do they? Yes, they do. Oh, bad second chase this with uh, Save Best Blast. Do you have Bands Landing? Beautiful. Mm. Just in case they start playing. Just in case they start playing. And go over for the... Uh, Pallet's done. I think we will get them seen to. Get Ace on a hook, get you on a hook, and suddenly, suddenly, would you look at what's transpiring? Three people on a hook. Meg has a decision to make. Get you up here. Meg has a decision to make. What do you do? Where do you go? I'm going to deposit some uh, void energy. That's what I'm going to do. One kill. It's going to be a hatch game, everyone. And who could have thought it? What an incredible start to M1 only gaming. We find Meg before that happens. Hello! It's an unhook on the AFK survivor. Oof. Meg, you won't be getting any thanks from that ace. Unless they've started playing. They've not started playing. Where's Meg gone? Where's Meg gone? Ah, screw it. Screw it. Don't screw it. End, end the screw. Here we go. Ace doing the no move challenge. Probably so. Hello, Marcus. Welcome in. Meg definitely going to step on a trap in the middle of nowhere. That would be just such a perfect conclusion to this game. I would adore it. So Meg did run right, didn't she? 
Let's turn that out. You wouldn't be surprised to uh, to see this being a hatch game. You reckon? It was worth a look, wasn't it? It was worth a look. Let's put an end to this. Let's put an end to this sword in the fair. Let's get the AFK survivor back on the hook and we'll have it be a hatch chase. Unless Ace has started playing. He has! You're a little bit late, Sunshine. Oh, what I wouldn't have given to see that trap. To see that trap connect. Ace, staying true to the mantra, better late than never. Go left, go left, go left. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Three traps. Three traps getting the goods when we haven't even set them up. And they're just randomly allocated. That. Oh, dear, excuse me. That is uh, stunning, bewildering. Riotous. Riotous is what that is. Oof. So here we go. 3k or 4k? Beautiful, incredible work. Thank you. Proud of that one. Where is your hatch? Where is your hatch? Where is your hatch? Where is your hatch? Interestingly, a trap did reset just then, so they have disarmed the trap. Uh, in the last... In the last what? In the last 30 seconds, maybe? Is that what that means? No, that was the one that he stepped in. I remember. I remember that. I mean, fair play to the Meg for coming back for the ace. Presumably, she didn't know he was an AFK ace. Slab happy. Now you're talking. Now you're talking. No idea where this hatch is. Not found it yet. What does the yellow add-on do? When a trap is set, you get a 5% haste bonus for, I think, 5 seconds. And it does apply for when Eerie Stone just ambiently resets a trap. So, yeah, it gives you unpredictable haste, which uh, can really help you. Hello! Thank you. Can we get a quick closure? No. GG, well played. Good luck with next. Right. Well, that is an incredible start to proceedings. Who pips do we get? Do we get any? One pip! Pips will be difficult to come by, I think, with this style of play, but to get one on the board already, you cannot say further than that. Right, let's go over to the sheet. Let's go over to the spreadsheet. So the map was... Um, oh, I forget the exact variants, but it was Wreckers. Kills, three, hatch escape, yes. There we go. So, a great start. Three kills, a three kill average. Hey, 